Darkling, darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. Four years of history with a deer I thought only lived in the dark. 60 sits, seven encounters, two missed opportunities. Thing haunted me. Problem. A lot of the deer bed on this little knoll across the pond, and walking in here, you can see where my old stand was. They'd all bust out of there, and also when I would climb down, they'd all be bed, they'd bed down behind me, so I'd bust them when I was climbing out too. So I think I gotta move it to where I'm coming down from the house here. I can get behind all this brush. I need to get in a tree somewhere over here because they bed all down here. Yeah. Oh man, I can see the whole plot. I feel like Robin Hood. <laughs> Next spot. Next spot. This is Drew and I's first sit for the 2017 season. Came in here the other day and hung this set. Put in three mock scrapes on this field. I've got some wheat growing up. And it's, it's been pretty uh, steady action in the evening for deer coming in this little opening to feed, to feed. We're back on the deer that I call Bane. I've got a lot of history with this deer from last year. Um, he, he's kind of here three or four days at a time and he'll leave for three or four days so he's been gone for about four days I know he's due to come back through and I've actually got walkers behind me right now oh, there's, two kid, there's two kids fishing tell me they don't see us so typically when Drew and I have uh, people walk up on us we usually just try and sit quiet and, don't, and be still and don't say anything to them because it takes one person to cause a ruckus amongst homeowners. And uh, when it comes to two or three homeowners against your homeowner making hunting an issue, nine times out of 10 you lose permission. So we usually just try and sit quiet and just let it go on by.
my cell came running in here, and at noon today, Bane came walking through, right through the food plot, and back into the area where I know he beds down a lot. He came through at noon. I'm, I'm not thinking that he went too far before he bedded back down. I got a really good feeling that he's probably bedded within 150 yards of us. It's the first day after Hurricane Hammer came through. Uh, we finally got the wind slacking down, the rain's moved out, so I'm really hopeful that this deer will move. And I'm, I'm super confident because I know Bane is, is, was here earlier. And uh, I know that he's, he's really checking these scrapes. He's the dominant buck in this area, so I know he's going to want to keep control of these scrapes. And... Dear. I'm a, I'm gonna get the arrow first and then I'm gonna get back in the truck and just kinda regroup for a second. Alright, bye bye. But I I'll be honest, it does not look good right now. Alright, well don't uh don't doubt yourself quite yet. I mean, I look at the arrow and it's like meat on the fletchings. There's like one speck of red blood. This is like the worst feeling in the entire world. You work so hard for a chance like that, and especially like what happened last year, it, ha it happened again. Different scenario, but it happened again. I mean, I've just never felt this kind of low in my life, deer hunting. Yeah. To the point where you like want to give up, just because it's so a lot of people. Want a to lot give of up, it's, well, it's it's, it's like happen. it's just like constant disappointment with this deer. Sure. But look, when you get up in the morning and you get your crap together and you go on to that meet and you hang your meat by the time, whatever, how long you been on for? All week? No, just tomorrow and the next day. Just tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow the next day, that's perfect. Don't think about deer hunting. Just go handle your meat, chill out, do your thing. By the time you start driving back, you're going to start thinking about it again. You're going to get out there, you're going to shoot that bow again. All right, let's regroup. Let's reset cameras. Let's go plow that whole place up, make it all different. Let's plant the food plot. You know, I mean, let's, let's change some stuff. 
Let's go get on Falco. Let's get him killed. Let's regroup. Let's think. And we'll start all over. You could have this season could be the best season you've ever had. But you don't know. You can't, you can't just give up on it. You can't do that. Yeah. You're never going to give up on it. had an encounter with Bane earlier this year, probably like three miles from here. Didn't put a good hit on him, pretty much knew immediately that the shot really wasn't even gonna hardly affect him. So, kept running cameras, um, just kind of hoping that he would show back up, just to kind of assure that he was alive. Never saw him back over in that area. Um, decided that my game plan would be to try and head him off where I hunted him last year where I know he comes and looks for does. So I put my uh, cellular covert camera out and it is October 16th and I just got pictures of him. This has been over a month with no sign of him whatsoever. Just got pictures of him last night on what I call his favorite scrape uh, in the same area where I hunted him last year during the rut. Woke up this morning with those pictures, was super excited, immediately got over here. Uh, I put in some wheat like a month ago just to get a little ahead of the game and I just came in and, and put some more seed down to really get this food plot coming in good. We were going to plan on going back to hunt Zeus this morning but Bane showed up at like 6.45 yesterday evening. It's been real sporadic. It's like he knows when we're here. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot this evening. We've been hunting Bane for the last eight days. And we've been in every single morning. Because uh, that's kind of when he's mostly been showing up. But I keep my fingers crossed and something will happen. This deer's been driving me crazy. get another crack at this deer. No one can say we didn't earn it. I've never had to work this hard for deer ever. I mean, we got a landscaping crew pushing us out of the stand right now. It's a perfect morning. And we also know that there's another couple other hunters. One of them actually had an encounter with Bane the other morning. Every single deer I've ever killed has taught me a lesson in one way or the other, and this one is without a doubt, just never give up. <laughs>